what I thought was interesting about this musician is he talks about playing tribute to the blues tradition, which is birthed out of pain, but also acknowledges that his experience does not match the blues um, artists of color um, who had quite a different experience just because of the color of their skin. And even though he may emulate some of these blues greats to try to match the tonality and the stylistic form of how they present blues, which was birthed out of, you know, a era of civil unrest and, and um, being denied rights or coming out of a slavery um, existence is just not his, it's just not his background. And so I appreciated him being so clear on the fact that he was unwilling to take what some might think is the common route when it comes to blues and, and to, to chose to make it his own. It was a really interesting look at these musicians and their process and um, ramping up to a performance. Um, I think it's an interesting look at folk music. Um, I feel like there's not a lot of um, pieces that highlight folk or like really anything outside of like rock, hip hop or pop. So this is a fun genre break. Um, I think the music was fun. I think it was informative about the the musicians. Um, and overall, I think it was a pretty informative piece. The music was fun. The transitions were fun. It was pretty straightforward. What I liked is this, this sort of documentary mixed with music. So we get to know, to learn a lot of things about music, about the, the, the about instruments as well, like just all the guitars, like we see in the, uh, towards like the, the in the first act how this particular guitar works the history behind it but at the same time we see our main character performing in all the different stages and being on the road keep being on the road it's a, it's a sort of becomes also a sort of road trip film where we follow our main character and we see the struggles as well uh, that he, he is he is going through anyways because it's not an easy life being always on the road jumping from one location to another and trying to follow that dream, the music dream, while also having to survive. So we see that it's not just about the music, it's also about the actual life. So outside of the music, having to 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 work here and there sometimes what the bank bank account goes low, you know, and then coming back to music and just splitting between day jobs and, and gigs. I think it is the struggle of many independent artists, like myself as well, I'm an independent filmmaker, so I can really feel it. And, and that's what really gets you, you know, how the character is um, relatable, uh, you, how, can, how you can easily relate, how can many, sorry, how many people can relate with the main character. That's the strongest speech of this show. And in the beginning, it felt like a music video. And then in the end, it felt like a music video with a documentary in, in the middle. Just was really interesting. And I really love this guy's music. I had never heard it before. So I'm really glad I watched this. The guitars are really cool that he's using. And I liked the explanation of the unique guitar that he has. Um, the lighting is beautiful. Um, very cool shot on this. I think it's a skateboard, by the way, when you have the camera looking up at you and see the trees going by. I thought that was really cute and creative. I mean, cool and creative. Um, I love the footage of all the old timers playing that guitar. Songs are like energy devices, which I really feel is very true. Um, and to me, they can either suck you of your energy or give you energy depending on the type of song it is. Um, and I wrote down heart and persistence because that feels like he's very, you're very passionate and have a lot of heart and persistence. I, uh, that's the kind of, that's what it takes to survive in the world that you've created for yourself the, with the creative path that you're on. And I love that you have music in the movie and I didn't know that either. So I'm probably going to rewatch the movie. And um, just this is a really well done sort of documentary. Um, and I think it should get out and be seen because I think your music needs to be on a be seen on a wider, um, be heard on a wider 
audience. They have this great scenery from nature and then rural scenes, scenes and also their concert shots with the testimonials sometimes or interviews at some point. Uh, he did all sorts of jobs along the, his target of, of having a successful band to express himself through music. Fighting depression too, they show real vulnerability to in the path of following their dreams and touring with the band and how he described the music he creates with this guitar and his own way of doing things. And then this ending was amazing with that final song. It's just adorable. I thought there was a good mix of paying tribute and giving examples of the kind of pioneers and the, you know, the historical greats of the genre. But also, that's not what this film is about. This film is about this one particular artist and his very, very and truly independent artist journey and, you know, how much effort it takes and his, his, his journey itself and, you know, how, kind of how he got into music and how he got into that music. And I thought it was really, really fascinating to learn about and not just the genre of music, but also learning more about being a truly independent artist.